to make a section group or an area of subsections like this here in OneNote, we need to use the full app. Now, 90, 95% of everything you'll be able to do, you can do in the cloud version and the cloud version is improving all the time. However, very rarely you're going to want to go into the full app. So to do this, this is one thing that currently isn't in the cloud version and you might find it's really useful. So for example, something like regular meetings, some people wouldn't want that as one long page. So you might want sort of a page per meeting. So meeting one, and then you could add a page for meeting two, and then you keep in a more documented record of everything. Now that's great, and I completely understand why I've got this in my um, main personal notebook. Um, but to achieve this, we need these subsection groups here. So to do that, we click on this editing button at the top, and we need to click open in desktop app. Now I'm recording this in the newest version, um, some of you might find yours is more similar to what you've just seen with things on the left. If you're in this version, the only big difference is they've got sections at the top here and they've got their pages down the side here. So if we wanted to make a new section, you can see I'm currently in these regular meetings area. So I need to be back up at the top. And then this is what's called a section group. And we can make one by right clicking somewhere in this white space and clicking, well, obviously new section sometimes, but new section group. And then I could call this line management. Then to go inside it, I just click inside. And then here I would make a page for, uh, sorry, page, a section for everybody that I line manage. These are made up names, by the way. Okay. And then within these, because these are now sections, I can have as many pages as I want. So if I want to keep a more accurate record of everything, this is probably the way to do it. So that is subsections or section groups in OneNote. If I then close this down, continue here, and you can see already it's all synced up. So it's already in my cloud version. Now, once I'm it, I've got these made, I don't really need to go back to the full version unless it's something you prefer. I find I generally work 90, 95% of the time in the cloud version of the app. 